Hello everyone, welcome to the Twinner tutorial. In this video, we will look into to enable our Firebase push notification feature. So let's right dive into this. So first of all, you need to go to your Twinner account and click on the application for which you want to enable the Firebase push notification feature. So I have created my application here. And inside this, I have a, I will go to the add-ons menu and under the add-ons, we have an integration step. So inside the integrations, we have a Firebase integration and click on the view details and that's where you will be able to enable the firebase push notification feature okay so the, it requires three different files here and firebase push notification actually the all these three files okay it will ask you to upload these three files into our plugins feature as well okay so if you are using our one of the plugins woocommerce shopify or prestashop then in the step two of the plugin so if we go to the plugins right now and under the step two of the plugin it will ask you to upload the similar files so for both these files for both these particular different places generating the files are exactly similar so even if you are uploading the files from here it will be automatically enable your firebase push notification as well or if you are uploading from the add-ons and the integration step and enabling the firebase push notification it will be automatically enabled for this for the plugin as well so you don't need to do it at the multiple places okay so for now i'm going to refer to the integrations here so let's go to the firebase and then enable this feature so there are three files required here the first one is google service info.plist file so dot plist file is for the ios projects ios application so let's right go to the, our firebase console so first of all you need to go to the console.firebase.google.com URL and use your Google account to log in here. I'm already logged into my account and click on the add project. Give your give uh, enter your project name here. So for example, I'm just entering my project name as a Firebase app. Continue. Uh, if you want to enable the Google Analytics, you do that. Otherwise, you can just disable this as well continue and select your account if you don't have any account then google will automatically create one default account for you and then click the click on the uh, continue button so now it's going to take little bit of a time to basically set up our account and then after uh, it will redirect us to the firebase console our applicants uh, our application console from where we will be able to create this plist file json file and the firebase secret key okay so it's almost done now let's continue on the click uh, continue button and then we are inside our firebase console so first thing you click on this little gear icon and click on the project settings under the general tab go below and we will be creating our first application which is ios application so that's the first one now we need to create the app we need to basically need, we need our apple bundle id so you can basically find out the apple bundle id from the app build and then in the ios menu so this this is our apple bundle id ios bundle id so copy this you can give any name here firebase app ios and register app and that's pretty much it uh, we have this dot plist file ready let me just download it for now okay we'll upload it later on and then click next 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 and continue to the console now we successfully created an application for ios but we need to do the same thing for android as well so let's do the same thing click on the add app uh, click on this android icon here uh, my bundle id is similar for android as well but if you don't know but or if you have a different bundle uh, package name then just go to the android tab here under the app build and this is your android package name okay so this is my package name here uh, I'm going to give it a name just for the identification and then just register click on the register app button it will take a little bit of a time to generate the file now this is going to this is going to generate our google service.json file which is the second file that we require so download this file and then the file is being downloaded and just click next we don't need to do anything here and continue to the console so this is our second step we did our second step as well okay now let's go to the add-ons menu and under the integrations we have a firebase view details enable this feature and our third file is firebase secret key so you need this file or you need to basically go through this step only if 
you are using the engage feature right to create your push notification campaigns uh, event triggered push notification campaign so basically you can send out all those campaigns via twinner dashboard directly as well or you can do it via firebase console as well but if you are using engage feature then only basically you will need to go through this particular step and create the firebase secret key okay so to do this let's go to the firebase again and under the service accounts you need to go to the service account and then click on the generate new private key you it's the, it doesn't really matter that which option is selected here you just click on the new private key and generate key okay as soon as you will generate a key it will give you one json file here okay it will automatically download that file for you perfect so now we do have generated all the three required files the first one is dot plist for ios the second one is dot json for android and the third one dot json is for is our firebase secret key so let's upload them one by one so this one is my dot plist file this one is my json file and this one is my json uh, file as a secret key and submit this so when i submit this uh, basically your configuration updated successfully so your firebase push notification feature is enabled successfully now you don't need to do anything further than this okay now there is one minor step left here to e we al already generated the dot plist file for the ios okay but to enable the push notification for ios there is one minor step required so what we need to do now we need to go to the cloud messaging and as you can see under the firebase our firebase app ios is already here and it requires apns authentication key so let let's go through this step that how we can generate apns authentication key so first of all you need to go to your developer.apple.com slash account url go to this url and click on the keys option here once you click on this option uh, basically click on the plus button and then provide the key name okay so for example my key name is maybe firebase a tweener something like this and then you need to select this option because i have already created the one key file so it will not allow me to create another one but for you it this option will be enabled so click on this button and then just click on the continue here as well okay so as soon as you will click on the continue it will generate one file for you and then this it will also give you an option to download this file so to be very uh, be very careful on this once you download this file you will not be able to download this file again okay so that's why this download button is disabled for me but when you will generate a new file under your account this button will be enabled for you until you will not download it okay so you download the file once you download it uh, you need to upload the same file here so what i'll do i'm going to do i'm i'm going to click on the upload button and then i have the .p8 file available here so i'm just going to select this file .p8 file that i have generated earlier now it asks me to enter the key id so you can find out the key id here under the key as well okay so same thing enter the key id here and the last thing is the team id so to find out the team id you just click on this menu option and click on view membership once you will click on the view membership go below and under your membership details there is a team id option here so copy this id and paste it here and upload this and that's it once you will complete this step now our firebase no push notification feature is enabled end to end and it supports both android and ios now and you will be able to send notification to all your android and ios devices so yeah that's pretty much it and that's it for the this video as well uh, if you have any other questions feel free to reach out to us via live chat or, or our email at the hello at the thank you everyone i'll see you in the next video